Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is a bit more of a vlog style type video. I am packing today because I am leaving to visit some family tomorrow. So, got a lot of packing and housework and stuff like that to do and I figured, you know what, let's just chat while I'm doing that. You can keep me company. I can show you my packing process. It's not very interesting. It's not very strategic, but why not? Why not? So let's start packing. First things first, yesterday I did a good amount of laundry. Someday maybe I'll show you guys my laundry process here in New York. It's ridiculous but I half did laundry because I don't have a washer and dryer in our unit here and I refuse to go to a laundromat. I don't want to figure it out. I wash to the best of my ability all this stuff and then I'm going to pack it up and like actually wash it at my brother's house. I don't know if I told you but I'm visiting my brother and my and his family like my little niece and all of that and they live out west so that's where we're going oh my god it is so loud today do y'all mind I'm trying to pack and chat um i have a call a zoom call at 11 that i have to get on I don't even remember what this is for. It's for some sort of, I was told it's market research and then in exchange I get a free like soul map reading or something like that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I never know where to start with packing just kind of throw everything together so. Okay. <laughs> Next task, we need to pick out outfits. I think I figured out how I'm gonna do this. So I have all of my laundry folded. I'm gonna pick my outfit and then we're gonna fold it all together on the floor. How do you film one of these? I don't know. <laughs> we need an airport outfit first, obviously. Jeez. Oh, okay, I really just wanna be comfortable on my flights at like, Seven in the morning tomorrow, which means I have to be to the airport at 5. Gotta leave here at like 4.30. I hate that I do this to myself. I really do. So we are just looking to be comfortable tomorrow. Not the cutest, but that's okay. Doesn't matter to me. If I was visiting somewhere fun or had like business to do in another city or something like that, I would actually be trying, but I'm literally just going to sit with family for like <laughs> a week and tour some apartments. Um, I'll check in in a second. My suitcase is big enough we're just gonna figure it out when we get there what the outfits are I am gonna be gone for 10 days so while this may seem like a lot it's because it is a lot because I need a lot that's what we're working with today all right so let's see I told you guys I'm going out west to visit family and then I'm actually on my way home. I didn't know you could do this but you can extend layovers by like days and so back several months ago you guys know I was touring apartments in Dallas because I was thinking of possibly moving to Dallas and after staying there I realized it's a no. I don't want to move to Dallas but I had a layover in Denver, Colorado anyway for this trip and so 
I called the airline I'm flying and asked if it would be possible for me to extend my layover because I wanted to look at some apartments and they actually were very accommodating with that. They're going to let me do that, which is cool. Never have done that before, but should be a good time. So I'm spending my time out west. I'll be out west for seven days and then um, I'll be in Denver for four days. And by the time this video is up, I'll already be home. But <laughs> that's where I was. And so my next couple of videos after this are going to be apartment tours in Denver because I had at least one person say they enjoyed my Dallas apartment tours. And so I am going on eight tours while I'm there, which should be good. Very happy to be getting out of New York. I know that probably sounds weird to people who don't live here, but she is a pain in the ass to live in and I am sick of it, love. I'm not planning on moving to like June or July because my lease goes through the end of July. Um, but I know places are starting to get in their availability for June now, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe in two weeks I will have found an apartment and signed on it and life will be golden again. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all this. I may need to rethink this. I'm so excited about all of the new subscribers that have been joining, so thank you if you're new. Hi, hello. Um, one of my biggest goals at the moment is to get monetized on YouTube because I would love to be doing this full time. I think that would be just wonderful and a little secret, this is kind of my full time job right now. I don't have like a regular 9 to 5. I have my own business, of course, and everything, but yeah, I'm putting a lot of time and energy into YouTube, and so it would be worth it to have that monetized, <laughs> for sure. So I really appreciate everyone who has taken the time to subscribe and join the community, and I want to hear from you guys. You know, what do you want to see? What kind of content do you like? what drew you to my channel like i'm here to make stuff for you guys this is really just your channel and i'm the medium through which you watch stuff i don't know if that made sense probably not i think i shot myself in the foot with this channel because i made this channel like six years ago but just to watch videos on i never like posted anything i still made the like creators account though for whatever reason and then I didn't start posting on it until like six years later and so by that point YouTube was like oh this girl has no interest in actually using the platform and so I'm kind of working against like six years of abandoning the algorithm um, so a little pro tip to anyone starting a YouTube channel, if you have had an account that has just been sitting for years and years and years and now you're wanting to start making content, make a new channel. Just do it. <laughs> like, ugh, if I could go back, I would, but at this point, you know, I've grown it enough that I don't want to restart. Kind of thought about doing that when I was around like 10 subscribers, but I thought, no, nah, it's, it's okay. But no, learn from me and just start an entirely different channel. I'd love to know for any of you watching who may have, you know, a smaller audience but still around like a hundred or maybe even up to a thousand, did it get easier for you at the like hundred mark or, you know, what, what did that kind of look like? Because I've heard so many different things like, oh yeah, once you get your first hundred, the remaining 900 just kind of snowball into place and for those of you who don't know you need 1,000 subscribers to become monetized or to even apply for the YouTube partner program um, and so I'm just curious you know like 
when did you start to notice yourself picking up momentum? Okay, I'm gonna finish folding up all this stuff. I don't have anything else to talk about, so I'm not gonna waste your time. I'll check in after we're all packed. Okay, quick intermission for this call. I'll see you. Um, I'm off my Zoom call and I'm just chilling. I don't want to pack. Oh, I hate packing. I should just do it and get it done with. I'm really tired and almost want to nap, but I gotta be up at 4.30, 4, I don't know. Ugh. What is going on with this today? Oh, it's bad. It's all around bad vibes right now. <laughs> oh, okay. I should stop procrastinating, but I don't want to. Okay, let's get my like toiletries ready to go. This is a fun update. I have to shave my sweatpants that I'm wearing tomorrow because they have all sorts of little pills on them and I don't want to be judged in the airport or by my brother when he picks me up so this is gonna take a while but probably very satisfying when i tell you this is so satisfying i mean it mm, look at that limp pile yes well I am done with shaving my pants. <laughs> this is the lint roll tally. I can't help but feel like I've just been procrastinating this whole time. <laughs> so, I really just need to finish packing. Maybe I'll show time lapse of that. I think it's boring just for me to sit and talk with you. What happened here? Okay, this video is a hot mess, <laughs> but so am I right now, so you're getting the authenticity that I guarantee you. Is this an infomercial now? Okay, let's do a time lapse. <laughs> That's it for me packing. I guess I'm done. I have to pack my little carry-on, but all I ever take is this tiny little tote bag here. I never do like a roller carry-on or anything. I just don't feel the need to. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out. <laughs> Wasn't as chatty as I thought I was gonna be, but yeah. It was still something to watch, still some lifestyle content for you. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit in the morning as I'm leaving for the airport. We'll see. <laughs> if not though, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So take the time to subscribe if you have not already. I know this isn't the best video to call you into the family, but hey, maybe you enjoyed the chill vibes, the packing vibes, all of that. So definitely subscribed if you're not. And go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy it. I typically post style and fashion content as well as lifestyle, mindset, manifestation, things along those lines. So if you're into that, join the family. I post every Wednesday and Sunday. So with that, I will see you guys at the Denver apartments that I'm touring and going to record and post another apartment tour video for you. Okay, weird vibes, weird energy today. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.